as you may have noticed that things look a little bit different for my old jailbait fans uh, this is still me but um, I, as you may have noticed I haven't put up any videos for quite some time there's been quite a lull in the channel and part of that is because I have um, been contemplating a brand change for a while uh, there has been some changes with YouTube and their advertisers and while I am not currently monetizing any of my videos or anything of that nature uh, yet I and I don't really am not like harping to go forward with that type of a deal um, if it happens I would like to be prepared for it and so I have um, opted to go with a brand name change because while I thought it was kind of funny um, the whole jailbait thing has some connotations other than the uh, coy little worm behind bars and so therefore I needed to uh, come up with something else and uh, with the, the changes in advertisers that is going on with YouTube they seem to be um, gravitating to a bit more of a family friendly family friendly um, zone and so advertisers are not like putting some of their advertisements up on certain channels with certain content and that sort of thing because it may not be um, okay for the entire public at large and so um, to kind of go alongside that I have decided to change my name to or my brand to um, a handle that I have used most of my life previous to adopting uh, Jailbait and that was Shadowblade and so that's what you saw at the beginning of this little video here uh, so what is gonna change um not much I, I do want to branch out a little bit into some other games like right now you can see I'm running around um, in a game called Factorio kind of an indie game but you you can build up all these different factories and it's just fun to play um, and so I may do a little bit of this type of thing um, I still want to do a co-op deal with Darkfire we may do something a bit uh, more engaging for you the audience I know that the Divinity Original Sin was a little bit dry lots of story lots of reading and really not conducive to um, I think for for you guys as as viewers as a good um, a good game for for a viewer or for YouTube as a let's play type deal um, while it was fun for us to kind of play through and, and do stuff it was very very slow so he and I will get together and decide on a type of game that we think will work um, we have considered maybe a survival type game um, like Seven Days to Die or Ark um, Survival Evolved I think is the full title of it um, but something like that um, perhaps maybe even like a multiplayer of Factorio here if that's something that we think uh, might go over well and give our viewers a bit more action and a bit less us running two steps and you guys having to read or we having to read for the next you know 20 minutes which just didn't seem very good so that's kind of where that is at I'm also going to continue to play um, sci-fi strategy type games so uh, Master of Orion is still something that I could launch into some more games with that um, I took a look at Endless Space 2. There's been some people that have reviewed it, um, played through it a little bit, and it's kind of, uh, it's kind of meh, unfortunately. It's got some good aspects to it, but it seems like they innovated in the wrong areas and took away the innovations from the original game that made it kind of as good as it was. So I'm a little disappointed in that, but there's another game that I've been toying around with called uh, Starpoint Gemini Warlords and it's kind of like a, a marriage between a 4x strategy game like um, Master of Orion or 
that type of deal where you're building an empire, as it were. But it also adds in elements of your standard Twitch-based Starfighter game in that you control your own ship, you go out and do things and that sort of thing. And so I think a campaign with that uh, would fit the channel as it was with uh, my my audience as they are today with you guys. Um, and also kind of open things up a little bit. Um, I still would like to play, do a playthrough of XCOM 2. I know there's been a lot of DLC. It's been out for quite a while. It's not like a brand new game anymore, but it lends itself to the kind of strategies that I feel are um, conducive to what I've put up on the channel before. Um, and then I will also like to branch out into some other stuff if it takes my fancy. Um, I'm going to try and shy away from some of the RPG element games, um, unless they're like action adventure RPGs, because just sitting there having to read a bunch of text or sit and watch a bunch of storyline just doesn't seem like, um, a very interesting video for you guys. And I, and as much as I want to, um, play just whatever I want to play, I also understand that. Um, some of you guys taking your time out of your schedules and whatnot to come and watch my channel. And so I want to put stuff up that will edify both of us, where we will both enjoy what the, our time spent, um, me making the videos and you guys watching the videos. So welcome to the new brand, uh, the new Shadowblade brand. Let me know what you think about it. Um, but until next time, stay sharp. <laughs>